What is up guys? Welcome back to more Night in the Woods. So in this episode, we're gonna hang out with B again. Now, I don't know if I've explained this yet, but the reason we're hanging out with B again and not with Greg is because um, I've heard that how you should play this game is to uh, pick one or the other for the uh, for the remainder of the game. So since I picked B my first time out, I'm gonna pick uh, B for the rest of the time. And apparently, I've heard that each, uh, each character has a kind of a story that you need to follow along as long as you keep picking that person. So uh, after we get done with B's story, I'm going to replay the game and go through Greg's story. And uh, obviously I won't make you watch my entire playthrough. I'll just get up to the point where you know I have an option between B and Greg. So that's what we're going to do. I don't think I've explained that, so that's why I'm explaining it now. So we're going to have a B again. I believe I mentioned that in the last episode. Hey, B. I'm on your countertop. <laughs> hey, B. B. Hey, May. How's it going? Got a load of rocks all to move. Uh, came in early this year, and like a crap load of snow shovels. Usually the distro place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards. Yeah, that's not a bad theory. So what's up? Want to hang out tonight? Uh, I'm working. If you want to, like, come along... Oh, I was thinking we'd go play Putt-Putt out in Hunwick. May, that's actually not a bad idea. But sorry, gotta work. Aw, man. Aw, oh, jeez. What's what's even the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing? All too real. Ugh. So do you want to come along or not? Uh, let's hang out. Heck yeah. Let's help someone at work. House call. Honestly, that's, that, that's the type of person that I would be, too. Just help someone at work. As long as it doesn't have to deal with customer service. Customer, customer service sucks. Even though that's exactly what we're doing. Anyway. Couldn't you just, like, refuse to do house calls? Nope. Why? It's called a job. People pay you to do it. Ideally, at least. <laughs> yeah, they might not. You coming? There's a thing back here by the driveway. Yeah, she's an old lady. She's got weird shit in her yard. It's like a windmill. Yep. I've never been back up here before. May Borowski, you have now been here. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, just a bunch of old cabins people turned into houses. Some hunting camps. So don't, like, get shot or anything. Buck season isn't for a few days, right? Well, folks get impatient. For murder. Red rum. It ain't murder if it's animals. I mean, that's not true. That's dark. Hold that thought. You gonna knock? Nope. <laughs> Just gonna walk right in. I'm here. Thank you for coming on such short notice. No problem. I can sleep through a uh, through a four alarm fire. Through I can sleep through a four alarm fire, but that furnace. I can't understand the sentence. We'll take a look at it. Ever since Gene passed, I just can't abide that thumping. Understandable. Gene was such a darling man. Hey, what did you mean by hold that thought? Wait for it. I'll never forgive them for taking him away. Uh-huh. Ain't like I didn't treat him right. I looked it up on the internet. He didn't smell or nothing. Wait for it. You can't take a woman's husband just because he's dead. There it is. Holy God. Took him right off that couch. It's a crime. Yeah, a crime that was definitely con a, a crime was definitely committed. All right, they just couldn't abide not being able to tax him anymore. That's what it was. Well, I won't talk your ears off about it. Come take a look at the, at my fridge while you're here. We bill by the half hour. By the half hour, huh? Interesting. Uh, guess we need to walk. Uh, you got an inst interesting TV program going on here. Looks super interesting. Good job. Yeah, it's a nice fridge. What's the problem? Oh, there's no problem. It's just a classic, an or original Luna Freeze. Wow. They were all in the in, oh, they were all the rage when I was your age. They last forever. They make me feel so young. I saw one of these the other night when I when I got back into town. Oh, really? Where? Upside down under some logs in a creek in a, in a ravine. Ooh. <laughs> so furnace. Oh yes, right through here to the basement. Sounds good. Come on, May. 
Alright, we'll be down there for a bit. Please remember not to lock us in. What? Last time we sent someone, he got locked in the basement. I assure you that did not happen. Um, he called me. From your basement. Your man did smell a bit of booze when he came by. <laughs> oh, okay. Busted. Or something. Okay, down we go. It was nice meeting you. I don't really know who you are, little person. Well, you can't, it's not nice to meet me? You're so rude, man. I don't know who you are. I don't know. It's not nice to meet you. Okay. Oh, man, I love creepy basements. I don't. My, I have a creepy basement. It's not fun to be down there. And why wouldn't you? Look at all this. this splendor. Gee, she's got a lot of junk. Maybe she's got a few more husbands stacked in the corner. <laughs> Alright, let's get this done so we can go home. Alright. Hang on. Uh, cool things. A lot of cool knickknacks and whatnot. Is it illegal to smoke indoors? It is. Well, 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 be the criminal. It's a dummy. I'm trying to quit. So I chew on this thing. What? Notice no smoke coming out? No smoke at all? But like I've seen you smoke. Yeah, not indoors. I totally thought it was real. Where did you think the smoke was going? I thought you were swallowing it. Yeah, I don't think that would go well for her, for her body at all. Nate, do you know how smoking works? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not a smoking scientist, Beatrice. Good lord, what else don't you know? A lot of things. Sorry, I didn't get a lot of. I didn't get a degree in cigarettology. <laughs> what even was your major in college? Kicking ass and getting rad. Me, me, me. Not really. So that's the furnace. Yes, that's the furnace. I've decided his name is Clanky. Okay. You just hang out. I'm going to fix this right quick. Don't like break anything. What am I going to break? This is a basement full of crap. You never know. Oh, oh, geez, okay. Shouldn't be long. Can I help? Nope. Why am I here, then? Because you wanted to come along. Just chill. Uh, furnaces are kind of hot, so it's chilling is not really an option. Geez, this is, an, this is one old-ass fan. It's made of metal and would chop, your off, would chop off your finger. Chop your finger off. Excuse me, I can re this. Cool. Uh, let's take a look around the basement before we uh, take a look at this furnace. Hmm, badminton. I love badminton, dude. It's so fun. Badminton. Good glove. Racket. <laughs> uh, yeah, good glove is actually a joke that me and my friend would, would call badminton. Because the opposite of bad is good and the opposite of mitten is glove. So good glove. Haha, -ha, we're so funny. <laughs> right? Yeah, we're not. Anyway. Uh, can I actually get up here? I can. Fish, fish, fish! That's real interesting, me. I bet I can make something out of all this junk. Jeez. Who even would have who would who even would have this much junk? So does that mean now I can grab the things? Yeah, okay. I could see this being useful. Yep, now I can grab it. I can see this being useful in furnace fixing. What are we gonna be fixing? This looks useful. This looks useful. What, you have to repeat it? Okay. I need your expertise to fix this stupid furnace, Professor. Cool. Alright, we got things. How are we going to fix this, May? Alright, so I can't carry anything else. So I'm going to say this is enough stuff. Alright, how are we doing this? I'm so enthralled right now, May. So, got a gnome, a fishing pole, a badminton racket, and a fan. Got two wheels and a turny thing with no wheel probably just need to turn the turny thing to to turn up the fire clanky's probably got a tiny fire going on and could use some help we've all been there poor clanky to get clanky all hot and bothered we will teach clanky to love i bet i could hmm i could use the racket as a handle yeah that would work Uh, although we're not always going to be here to pull it. Okay. The fan could stay on. And if this breaks, you only have to replace the fan. True. It should be good for the environment, too. That's important. Go green. Always go green. Like the tur the turbines on the mountain by Fort Lucene. I remember when everyone was so mad about that. 
It's going to ruin the view. It's going to kill birds. You know what else is going to ruin the view if you and kill birds? When a meteor hits the earth because it gets too hot. That's what happened to the dinosaurs. Oh yeah? Okay, where was I? <laughs> dinosaurs were effing rad. They had dinosaurs in the ocean too. I'm glad I wasn't a fish back then, right? That would have been awful. Did they have fish? Were they like dinosaur fish? Yeah, sure. Uh, no, fish are fish, mate. Get a grip. Fish were probably like, oh man, what the hell? I can't believe f uh, future fish don't have to deal with this BS. Sharks? Eh, get a load of piranha Nessie with r rabies over here. Eh? Documentary guy is all like, millions of years ago, the seas were full of piranha rabies Nessies. Rabies. Okay, focus, man. Making a turbine. <laughs> yeah, we got a topic there, didn't we? So there's a, a, a lot of wind down here, but like... Okay, we stick Nomi in the ground. Sorry, Nomi. Put the fan on top of this flat table butt. I feel that pain, Nomi. I have one too. And tie the racket on like this. What do you think B is thinking right now? <laughs> she, she like, me, knock it off. Hey, alright. I should like, start a company. Sustainable g garbage turbine. Okay, done. What? <laughs> What'd you do, May? I think I fixed it. Now let's see what we got here. Yeah, we did. We? What did you do? I engineered an elegant long-term solution. <laughs> Good job. Gosh dang it. Way to go, May. Please don't fix anything ever again. Like, don't even have a pet. Ooh, -hoo. anything you have to maintain. Aw, oh, friggin' crap. It was totally gonna work. This is so typical. I'm gonna check the exit. Did we get locked? Wait here. Okay, fine. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, looks like we're locked. Well, we're locked in. Ugh, I knew this was gonna happen. Stupid, stupid bee. Uh, <laughs> ooh, which one do we... Ooh, 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 ooh. Can we cut a hole in the floor? With what? Maybe she has an old saw down here. And we're gonna what? Build a heap of garbage to stand on? And saw a circle on the floor? Like a cartoon? Well, not with that attitude. I say that all the time. Not with that attitude. Well, this knob is really old and loose. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Maybe I can, like, figure this out. I'll look around, too. Yeah, you go look around a whole bunch. Sorry, B. I'm just trying to help. So, now what can we do? Maybe we can get a hole through uh, this part of the floor here. You can hit her head on the ceiling. Cool. Hmm. The one thing she could hear is the furnace. When it was broken. Broken things need to be broken. They sure do. Are uh, you guys picking up what she's putting down? Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's the one to tool I do know how to use. A tool for beating ass. Yeah. This is going to turn out great. Let's hit B with it first, actually. <laughs> I don't think we can. I tried. She didn't do anything. She completely ignored me. Anyway. Oh, no. Look, we're messing everything up. Ah! Listen to us! Get us out of this basement! Uh-oh. <laughs> Sucky piece of crap furnace. Wow, that is pretty loud. Yeah, jeez. Surprised I can't hear it. Hear that back in town. Okay, cool. She's coming. Thank God. Uh, thank me more like. Hey, Mrs. Miranda, you locked us in. How dare you. Well, that was fun. Uh-huh. You alright? She gave us lemonade! <laughs> yes, the best prize. No money, just lemonade. Yeah. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's such a nice night out. Lovely. It really is, though. Look at it. It's so pretty. It reminds me of a summer night. You know it's technically fall. It reminds me of a summer night. Then what's up? Nothing. Just tired. Worked all day. I'm all hyper, because you don't have a job, May. Good for you. Ah, uh, you were zero fun. Yep. 
you need like some magical shit to like give you a new perspective let me know when that happens wouldn't want to miss it I'll be I'm sorry so what's out here it's so pretty out here and I, it's nighttime too and I, I love it it's so freaking pretty dude I think I already see what we have to do but first nope and look at the fireflies following us it's so pretty I'm gushing over this game I'm sorry I do that a lot but you know I think I, I think I think my reasoning is justified so wait what do we what do we do hello Don't I, uh, do I not do this? Can I turn this? No? Hang on. Oh, I think, I think maybe I just have to collect all these, uh, all these fireflies. I think that's what I had to do. Is that not it? Yeah, I believe that is actually it. <laughs> Let's go CB. Let's show me our fireflies. Wow. <laughs> Are you like a firefly whisperer or something? Yeah, they just like me, I guess. That's... You're an interesting person, May Mayborowski. Uh, Grand Granddad said being interesting is all you can hope to be. Well, mission accomplished. Woohoo! You know, I have to say this would have been a much less ex exciting evening if you weren't along for the ride. Uh, along for the ride? I believe I worked pretty hard down there. I should get a, p a cut of the bill. Not a chance. You're an unpaid intern. <laughs> Fight for it, right here and now. You should, like, channel that aggression you always have into something useful. And Dr. Hank said I, I need to back... He said way back I needed to repress it. Repress? Not, like, learn to deal with it? He, specific, he specifically said repress. Uh, okay. Hmm. So do you think Mrs. Miranda, like, pulled her husband's guts out? Isn't that what you do for mummies? I don't know, May. Do you think you'd have the stomach for it? Nope. It probably took a lot of heart. <laughs> I wish she would explain it to us. I get it, May. She really wrecked him. That's a bad one right there. Okay, that probably should have stayed in place. Yeah, <laughs> that should stay where it belongs. <laughs> I'm leaving. Hey, you gotta live your life. Bye, this is me gone. Hey, wait up. You're walking back to town. You got a lot of gall to say that. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Not a pun lever, B. That's a darn shame. Everything's better with puns. So that was a nice night, wasn't it? Work in. Gur gur angry furnace. Who makes who makes a mummy? <laughs> How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mind. I ran machines. But now I get to slice steaks and hock salamis. Hack salamis. Ugh. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But, like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Yeah, exactly. Fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. What did you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. I feel like I just did a day's work. Because you did. <laughs> you know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. <laughs> Huh, your kids with your slang. Slang could pick you could pick up a work. You could pick up a work. Okay, yes, yeah, point made. Um, what about those boxes I asked about? In the crawl space? Mm, I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Uh yeah, let's let's uh watch some TV. Perfect timing. Garbo Mole is starting. <laughs> anything else on? Ah uh, yes. Cause we're not allowed to watch anything else, you know. Garbo and Molloy. Ah, yes. You know we like to get political here. Gotta do it. Gotta. You hear about this new law on the books? Pirating a movie online. You know about that? I do. Punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Wow, and here I've been trying to get in the hard way. He has, folks. Wonder if pirating a movie about first-degree murder uh, earns you more prison respect than one about grand larceny? Hey, Malay, you know what I think about that law? What, Garbo? That's a Wappa! <laughs> Coming up next, Stupid Sandwiches. Stupid Sandwiches? I want to see this. That sounds fun. Alright, nice watching TV with you, Dad. 
So let's go on up to bed. Uh, I don't think there's anything over here. <sighs> Boy, I am beat after that day. Let us see what B or Greg has to say. What did Greg do today, actually? I'm more excited to see what, uh, what he was up to. Hey, that was fun! Let's do that again sometime. You are pretty handy when it comes to breaking stuff. I'm sure there's a job in there somewhere. But yeah, it's called demolition. You can actually get a job for doing that. Holy shit, I found my calling. I'm glad I could help facilitate this. Oh, so I looked up people who attract insects. Seems to come down a lot to heat and various odors. They can't get enough of this. I guess not. Good night, May. Night. Hey, punk, what'd you do tonight? Don't call me a punk. Got trapped in a basement. Beat up a furnace. Right on, man. Night, night. Aw. Greg didn't tell us what he was up to. Darn shame. Alright, let's go ahead and head on to bed. Will we get another crazy dream? Guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh oh, here we are again. Back in another dream. Whoa, that was weird. That was a little crazy. And we're falling. Cool. I can't hear that too well. But, let's keep going. I'm going to keep a little quiet just so I can uh, let the music play a little bit. So until I hear the full song, I'm gonna talk a little quieter, just so we can get just so we can get some ambience in this in this uh in this place. You know, it's so pretty. I don't want to ruin it with my obnoxious voice. Okay, sounds interesting. Sounds interesting so far. Uh, anything down here? Oh, oops. Let's go down here first. Now, this sounds a bit more menacing than the, than Astral Alley. I don't know what the song is called, but I'm sure it'll get better as we uh, get more instruments. Now, look at this dock. It's so pretty. I wish my dreams all looked like this. You know, if I had, like, starry nights and beautiful music playing as I dreamed. I know I mentioned that in... The last, you know, the last time we we uh, did this, but it's true. I would love to do. I would love to dream like this. All right, let's bring out the accordion guy. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Who knows where this last guy is? I believe I only have three, right? Uh-oh. Where is he? Oh. I didn't realize that he could walk on this water. Probably should have tried that, but that's alright. Alright. Now let's give the song a listen as we head back to the, the starting point. 